The second reading that's assigned to a weekend liturgy is basically independent of the first reading and the gospel reading. And this second reading exposes us to a different part of the scriptures and usually continues for several weeks. We've been reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, and now we open up the letter of James. It will occupy the second slot in the Liturgy of the Word for five weeks beginning today. This letter is not really a letter in the ordinary understanding of that word. Unlike most of Paul's writings, James is not writing to a particular community, say in Corinth or Ephesus. And he's more concerned with ethics than doctrine. James is concerned with how people act more than what they believe. Time and time again, we will hear James tell us to put our faith into action. In his words, we must be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. If all we do is listen, he tells us today, we're deceiving ourselves. And in the weeks to come, James will get more specific in detailing how a believer needs to put faith into action, especially in how he or she cares for the weakest in society. A letter such as this is especially directed to people like you and me, people who are in a church listening to the word and sharing the Eucharist. And we sometimes are tempted to conclude that since we're doing this, we are fulfilling our duty as Christians. I know I've told the story before about a Quaker grandmother who took her non-Quaker granddaughter to a meeting. And you don't do much at a Quaker meeting. You just sit there. You might even quake. Finally, the, the granddaughter whispered to the grandmother, when does the service begin? And the grandmother answers, the service begins when the meeting ends. In other words, it's in the doing of the word and service to others that makes the word come alive. Some say that faith is a verb and not a noun. You may have seen some churches who have a mat at the entrance of the church that makes the same point. Our Lady of Victory in Centerville has them. It has two sentences, one upside down from the other. And when you go into the church, you read, we enter to worship. And then as you're leaving the church, it says, we leave to serve. Having begun our reading from James, we need to be conscious in a special way over the next several weeks on seeing how we are being called to live out our Christianity and how we relate to others and to be conscious of the expectation that we will care for them in their need. Every person, every situation is a chance for us to put our Christianity into practice. We need to see that every person is created and loved by God, no matter how hard they try to hide that. If we treat others with dignity and respect, we are welcoming what James describes as the word that has been planted in us and is able to save our souls.